Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can find workflow items that are pending in someone's inbox, okay? So here you have to know the user ID. So in order to find the user ID, the transaction code that I am in is SWI5, okay? And here you have to give the type. It's generally always US, the user ID. And here, suppose I want to see what are the workflows that are pending in someone's inbox. So by default, you have to select work items to be completed, not the completed work items. I think 95% of the time, this work items to be completed needs to be selected. So um, I think it's um, <laughs> it's probably SAP should, should set this as default. Okay, and then you can select execute and here you'll get all the work items now. These work items may be assigned to this person sometimes because it's the is like suppose it's assigned to this person because uh, this person have uh, has been forwarded and all those things. Now, lots of times here, uh, most of it's of course, uh, if if this person is created as a substitute of someone else, those work items will not show up here just to let you know okay and this is just because of privacy but you can always check which workflows are with him so you can just double click on it okay and click on workflow log and you click on this click on agent and you can see this this has been assigned to two person if you notice so this is very easy SWI5 and then um, uh, if you want to see what are the workflows that they, this person has completed you can just come hit this and you can see what are the workflows that are completed by this person. So now here you can change it to, suppose I'll just change it to delete, delete 19 and I'll execute. And if I execute, I'll probably I'll, this, this user hasn't completed anything. If someone has completed, so suppose let me put uh, my ID probably I have completed some bunch here you can see these are the work items that I completed okay and if you want to see further you can see the workflow log and all those things so this is very very useful so that's it stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great